Uh, hi everyone. Today I'm gonna discuss about the agile and waterfall models. Uh, so here we go. The choices of software development methodology can significantly affect the results of a project. The two most common methods, agile and waterfall, are predicted to have the following effects on project outcomes. First, waterfall methods, software development, uh, development is done in a linear sequential manner using the waterfall method. It uh, contains a number of separate steps such as gathering requirements, uh, designing, implementing, testing, and maintaining with each phase being finished before uh, going on to the next. This method involves extensive planning up front, making adjustments after construction has started challenging. A waterfall technique is anticipated to produce. Second, a clearly defined scope. The waterfall method works be, uh, best when there are no anticipated requirements changes and the project scope is clearly specified. Uh, predictable timelines. The project schedule can be calculated more precisely if the scope is clearly specified and there is a clear documentation. The waterfall method, however, can significant limit, uh, limitations such as restricted fix, uh, flexibility. Projects with changing requirements are not well suited for the waterfall technique. After construction has started, uh, revisions can be expensive and challenging to the altar. Minimum cus uh, minimal customer involvement. Consumers typically participate in the requirements collecting phase of the development process and have little uh, to no participation after that. First, agile strategies. The agile method is an incremental and uh, iterative method of software development. Uh, iterations or sprints, which each entail planning, development, testing, and delivery are used to divide the project into smaller, more manageable chunks. Agile is anticipated to produce. Second, increase flexibility. The agile approach works well for the project whose needs vary since modification may be made with ease and following sprints. Third, ongoing client participation. Agile places a strong emphasis on close customer collaboration throughout the development process with frequent uh, evaluations and feedback. Fourth, early and frequent delivery. Because the project is divided into smaller uh, iterations, the team is able to deliver usable uh, software to the client quickly and regularly. Fifth, the Agile method, however, also has significant disadvantages such as uh, the possibility of scope creep. Because adjustments are simply to make, there is a chance that the project's requirement will be exceeded. Seven, trouble estimating timelines. Because the project is divided into multiple iterations, it can be challenging to predict the precise schedule for the entire project. Waterfall strategies benefit. First, well-defined scope. The waterfall technique ensures that the project scope is set up front so that the team is aware of exactly what has to be built and how the final result should look. Second, proper documentation. Before going on to the next phase of the waterfall approach, each phase must be finished. This means that the team has a clear and simple instruction on how to proceed because the requirements, design, and implementation of the software are all thoroughly documented. Um, third, predictable timelines. The team is able to precisely anticipate the project timeline because the project scope is determined upfront when a specific deadline must be fulfilled. This is helpful. Um, Uh, benefits of an agile strategy. Increased flexibility project with changing needs benefit from the agile approach. Subsequent iteration can easily incorporate changes, making it simpler to adjust to involving company objective or client demands. Second, ongoing customer involvement. Agile places a strong emphasis on frequent evaluation and feedback from the client throughout the development process. This uh, implies um, that the client can monitor the task advancement 
and offer suggestions resulting in final output and more closely matches their requirement. Uh, third one is early and frequent delivery. With the agile methodology, the project is divided into simple iterations, such uh, each of uh, each of which produces a deliverable product. As a result, the customer can regularly and early observe working software, adding value and enabling an uh, early course correction if necessary. In conclusion, the project requirement, restriction and client need should be all taken into consideration while choosing a software development approach. While the agile approach is better suited for project with changing objectives and a necessity for ongoing client participation, the waterfall approach is appropriate uh, for project with uh, a well-defined scope and little changes. Thank you.